आफ्टरनून एवरी वन दिस इज चैताली बाग फ्रॉम एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स रिपोर्टिंग लाइव फ्रॉम इंडियन डिफेंस कंक्लेव ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू बींग हेल्थ एट द्वारका एंड दिस आफ्टरनून आई एम विद मिस्टर विशाल लांजेकर हु इज द कंसल्टिंग लीड विद द पालो अल्टो नेटवर्क एंड दे आर पार्टिसिपेटिंग एट इंडियन डिफेंस कंक्लेव हियर विद अ फुल टीम थैंक यू सो मच विशाल फॉर योर टाइम एंड वी वुड लाइक टू नो मोर अबाउट पालो अल्टो हियर फ्रॉम यू Okay, so Palo Alto Networks is uh, is is, a, is one of the uh, top cybersecurity companies in in the world today. Uh, we uh, we serve thousands of customers with our products and our services as such. Uh, uh, right from cloud security, right to endpoint security, and right to consulting, uh, security services consulting, I would say. Uh, I come from uh, uh, a division within Palo Alto called Unit Forty Two. Uh, Unit Forty Two is a threat intelligence and and and, and consulting uh, division. Uh, within Palo Alto Networks, and here we help uh, you know, our customers and organizations uh, with uh, with cyber threat intelligence. With helping them, you know, uh, make uh, helping them with uh, securing their networks through consulting services, and also helping them uh, during the time of need with our incident response services as such. Yeah. Right. You said about the threat security management. So, how are is Palo Alto contributing to the Indian Defence Forces? Yeah. So. Uh, uh, This this particular uh, in an event, um, uh, I was here. Uh, uh, I was saying from a defense line. Okay, so our association with defense is is been quite so long, uh, for the last couple of years. We have been working with the uh, Indian Defense Forces and the and the and the and, the, uh, and different organizations within the defense uh, vertical, uh, with helping them with secure their 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 infrastructures, you know, uh, from 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 external as well as internal attacks as such. So that is how we have been uh, you know associated with. uh with the, the uh, indian defense uh, community of forces i would say since you said you are been associated with the indian defense forces for a long time so can you please tell us that what kind of products here already your palo alto products are already in use with the indian defense forces yeah so we have uh, uh, like a like a wide range of products uh, and have been using uh, by used by the defense forces uh specifically our our next generation firewalls uh helping them secure their 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 their, their, their network uh, from from the um, you know, other attacks like like the nation states and those kind of people and such so uh the threat management it is something uh, the most important topic or the most important factor indian defense forces should address to and is addressing a conclave like this indian defense conclave what how do you think a topic like this is going to uh, is going to um, engage both the industry like you and the indian defense forces and we both come together for more solutions here so uh, i think threat management is a is a very i would say an interesting topic now if you look at threat management traditionally it's been it's been done it's it's more reactive in nature where we're talking about okay uh, we have this problem there is a good product out there you know let's go and buy this things but i think threat management needs needs a little bit more of a proactive approach uh, towards managing threat and that approach comes from intelligence so the thing is that if you if you are able to you know let's say you know you know uh, envision uh, will be probably what could go wrong in your environment have a threat actors perspective uh, of how they could target your environment threat management can be done much more effectively and efficiently rather than going the other way around as such now indian defense forces is a very close Uh, it's close knit organization a company like palo alto how do you penetrate in that which is a private company um i think uh, uh, you know I, at the end of the day we are uh, still uh, you know a legal entity in the country first of all um uh, and uh, probably when we engage with defense forces definitely we have the i'm an indian citizen so we have the, the regular clearances and then the uh, you know uh, to work with the defense forces as such mm-hmm. so so we don't see an issue with with uh, with engagement with defense forces again uh, there are certain things which could be classified where you cannot reach which is spoken understood uh, but most of the time i think uh, it should be we we don't face an issue with that because the if you look at the national security strategy also of india uh, you know uh, where we are trying to strengthen the defense uh, you know our, our defense perimeter as such i think the uh, you know the the government also needs you know experts like us to help them or rather i would say put it the other way around i would say that we want to help the government to you know, secure the the national uh, perimeter as well as the the internal security of the, of the nation as such finally coming to the conclave 
you have heard people from itself, uh, many people here who have given the presentation. Uh, if we talk about uh, the ITSA presentation, the DDG of ITSA, Major General Bakshi spoke about a lot of cyber threats and a lot of things which a uh, lot of new um, initiatives that Indian Defence is uh, taking up. What's your take on that? I think it's great. I would say that, you know, uh, the, the, the government is taking a lot, a lot of initiatives uh, and it's running the defense portion. And all these presentations were actually like really, really, really great. Uh, uh, and, 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 and it aligns with even the way we look at threats today. So that's something that way I find a synergy. So I did, uh, you know, uh, speak to some of the presenters after their presentation and then probably even some of the presenters came and spoke to me uh, after that way, after their presentations, uh, where we find a synergy of, of, of how do we approach um, the managing, you know, modern day cyber attacks as such. What is the approach we need to take? You know, uh, what are the elements of that and how can we operationalize those that approach? How can we measure for the effectiveness of those approaches? That approach as such. So that is something that you know I I, I would say it has been a great day today uh, talking to all these you know uh, great guys as such. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time you. and we really um, wish that Palo Alto gets more uh, bigger in the future and we'll speak again with you in some of the other conferences. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.